Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I do read, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. We are resuming our read from Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes, the fifth chapter and the seventh verses. We'll be reading from the King James Version of the Word of God. As soon as I get a timer here. <clears throat> And it reads, For in the multitude of dreams and many words, there are also diverse vanities, but fear thou God. Now if thou seekest, if thou seest the oppression of the poor and violent perverting of judgment and justice in a province, marvel not at the matter. For he that is higher than the highest regardeth, and there be higher than they. Moreover, the profit of the earth is for all. The king himself is served by the field. He that loveth silver shall not be satisfied with silver, nor he that loveth abundance with increase. This is also vanity. When gods increase, they are increased that eat them. When goods increase, they are increased that eat them. And what good is there to the owners thereof? saving the beholding of them with their eyes. The sleep of a laboring man is sweet, whether he be little or much, but the abundance of the rich will not suffer him to sleep. There is a sore evil which I have seen under the sun, namely riches, kept for the owners thereof to their hurt. But those riches perish by evil travail, and he begetteth a son, and there is nothing in his hand. As he came forth of his mother's womb, naked shall he return to go as he came, and he shall take nothing of his labor, which he may carry away in his hands. And this is also a sore evil, that in all points, as he came, so shall he go. And what profit hath he that hath labored for the wind? All the days also he eateth in darkness, and he hath much sorrow and wrath with his sickness. Behold, that which I have seen, it is good and comely for one to eat and to drink and to enjoy the good of all his labor that he taketh under the sun all the days of his life, which God giveth him, for it is his portion. Every man also to whom God hath given riches and wealth and hath given him power to eat thereof and to make his portion and to rejoice in his labor this is the gift of God. For he shall not much remember the days of his life, because God answereth him in the joy of his heart. Chapter 6. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, and it is among, and it is common among men. A man to whom God hath given riches, wealth, and honor, so that he wanteth nothing for his soul of all that he desireth. Yet, God giveth him not power to eat thereof, but a stranger eateth it. This is vanity, and it is an evil disease. If a man begat a hundred children, then live many years, so that the days of his years be many, and his soul be not filled with good, and also that he have no burial, I say that an untimely birth is better than he. For he cometh in with vanity, and departeth in darkness and his name shall be covered with darkness. Moreover, he hath not seen the sun, nor known anything. This hath, not, hath more rest than the other. Yea, though he lived a thousand years, twice told, yet hath he seen no good. Do not all go to one place? All the labor of a man is for his mouth, and yet the appetite is not filled. For what hath the wise more than the fool? What hath the poor that knoweth to walk before the living? Better is the, sight of the, better is the sight of the eyes than the wandering of the desire. This is also vanity and vexation of spirit. That which hath been is named already, and it is known that it is man. Neither may he content with him that is, with, that is mightier than he. Seeing there be many things that increase vanity, 
What is man the better? For who knoweth what is good for man in this life? All the days of his vain life, which he sendeth, spendeth as a shadow. For who can tell a man what shall be after him under the sun? Chapter 7. A good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of one's birth. It is better to go to the house mourning, to the house of mourning, than to go to the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the continence of the heart is made better. The heart of the wise in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of the myrrh. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for man to hear the song of fools. For as the crackling of thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of a fool. This also is vanity. Surely, oppression maketh the wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger rests in the bosom of fools. Say not thou, what is the cause, that the former days were better than these? For thou dost not inquire wisely concerning this. Wisdom is good with an inheritance, and by it there is profit to them that see the sun. For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. Consider the work of God, for who can make that straight which, hath, which he hath made crooked? In the day of prosperity be joyful, but in the day of adver adverse adversity consider, God also hath set the one over against the other, to the end that man should find nothing after him. All things have I seen in the days of my vanity. There is a just man that perisheth in his righteousness, and there is a wicked man that prolongeth his life in his wickedness. Be not righteous overmuch, neither make thyself overwise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? Be not overmuch wicked, neither Praise God. Okay, so it said, be not, uh, be not righteous over much, neither make thyself over wise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? Wrong pen here. Why shalt thou destroy thyself? So we'll end, resume on the 17th. All right. Well, some wonderful words of wisdom from the Proverbs, uh, Ecclesiastes. We got Proverbs in Ecclesiastes. All things are vanity. Well, again, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of the Smurf Club for your continued donation of $20 to paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson, dollar sign Mama Pam 23. We are Smurf, S-M-R-F, seven minute read family, seven minute read follows, just seven minute read faithful folk. We do broadcast across 23 broadcasting platforms, but the one that we're trying to steer everyone to is haps.tv app. You can find us at haps, H-A-P-P-S dot TV forward slash at Pamela Dobson, Monday through Friday, Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. Remember, Jesus loves you. Yes, he does. And remember, Mama Pam loves you, and there's absolutely positively nothing you can do about it. I am bringing you greetings from Fort Worth, Texas, Keller, Texas. You pick which one. <laughs> oh, praise God. Until the next broadcast, uh, the next read, I love you. God bless.